Good morning and a huge warm welcome to Carnation Crafts. We're live in the Carnation Crafts studio. As always, it's lovely to have your company. We've got a delightful day today with two shows. The first one is Springs Garland, which is a special edition vignette for you all for dyes that you might already have in your collection. And then at 1 p.m. this afternoon, we'll go live with a back to wear of Before the Rainbow, which is Carnation's first ever collection. So exciting to see it all come back. So we're going to start with Springs garland and this is just delightful the way they've recolored some of those dyes for us those vignettes so that we can see it in a different play way and that's really important to us as crafters because it gives us more scope for crafting and more choice with what we're doing and it means you're going to be easily able to make cards like this thank you Fiona Abbott for your wonderful efforts here absolutely gorgeous so you're going to see all of these coming together and I'm going to show you lots of finished samples uh, I'm also going to flick through exactly what you're getting and we will get to demo as always well so you'll see everything that you want to see so this has got a gorgeous selection of new colorways for I've got a list here sheer delight uh, so you've got the embroidery hoop card shape the rustic delight embroidery frame card shape the Christmas wreath maker then we've got things from vernal bloom so that includes the florals for vibrance fervent and ebullient and then you've got uh, uh, images from peace and quiet which I love peace and quiet very much so you've got foragers find pride and joy quick dip uh, flowing with flowers cut above and slip and slide new colorways for all of those a new colorway for the Happy Easter from Just Like You, which is uh, the kind of m mother and child we animals that came earlier uh, in the carnation history. And then we've got Dawn of Spring New Season Friends, which obviously is more recent. So you've got all of these coming through. Now, in exciting news, for those of you who are watching this and going, well, I'm missing a couple of these dies. I've got some of them, but I'm missing a couple of them. All you need to do is head to the banner on the Carnation Crafts website when you go there you'll be able to see what on the deal of the day you've got 20% off spring garland corresponding dies so today's the day to grab them if you see me working with something and you're like oh I really want the die of that today's the day where you're going to get 20% off however that offer will end at midnight tonight some of them have already sold out uh, so you can it register your interest it's a little button when you register your interest interest carnation know that you're waiting for that and hopefully we'll be able to get stock for you to be able to get that back so you can have the dies that you want to have so lovely way of doing things your special edition vignettes will be available and live to you. Again, are they on the deal of the day as well today, yes, Miss Taz? Yes, it's the deal of the day today. The deal of the day. So we're going to show price of $4.99. This is on the code 241705. It will go back up to £15 at midnight tonight. So you have only got a limited time to get it at this extraordinarily good price. Um, and if you find it easier, you can use the QR code at the bottom of the screen. QR codes work simply by putting your camera on your phone and facing it at that little weird little box at the bottom and it will register a link when you hit that link it will take you straight to the deal that you're looking for today and you'll be able to purchase direct that way which makes it easier for a lot of people but if you want the number again it's 241705 we're going to go and have a look at all of the vignettes and then we'll look at some finished sample from the incredible DT and then we'll get to demo for you so that's the order of the show and that should keep us in line Miss Tiz Taz a little bit so going through, we start off with your flowing with flowers, this gorgeous, gorgeous wheelbarrow, and it's beautifully done, isn't it? And when we start to see that in through the samples, and we will point them out as we go through the samples so you can see them, it's just a really, really strong die, uh, die cut. And I'm going to use it in a demo today as well. So you will actually see this come together. It's so pretty. And also because that wheelbarrow can stand upright or it can be sort of laid flat, you get to use it in different um, kind of ways for your composition so you can have it as a, a border or you can have it as a flat piece for a grounding device maybe so you can see it there where it's laid up and you can use it with the little birds flying there's lots and lots of ways really pretty die really pretty die and one to keep in your collection 
Now we've got some of your uh, florals here. You've got your wild mushrooms. Uh, so these, I believe, are your foragers find. And these have been colored in a much lighter colorway. So it's very soft, very, very pretty, isn't it? For those spring tones coming through. Beautiful for your Easter cards. We're all busy with those at the minute and everything coming through for it. You've got your grounding device with the flat edge at the bottom. Little creatures tucked behind and poking out will be beautiful. Remember, you can snip into them. So if you don't want the full length of that, you can snip into to small pieces of it and you also get your extra daisies there as well so you can build scenes i love this i love the way it's been recolored so this is your happy easter you've got the very very delicate uh, um, font at the top for the happy easter and then these very very spring-like beautiful flowers it's sort of a bouquet isn't it something that's very strong on your cards and gives you a real sense of wow factor which we're looking for we want those wow factors on cards put that on a white on white and it will be extraordinary We've also got colorways here for your Happy Easter, the bows that are coming through. And again, this recolored. So where I was showing you that a second ago, if I just turn this around and then you see the alternative, so you can see the two together, two colorways here. So again, or, or we're already on different card making, aren't we? You're going to be making different cards with the two different colorways. So we're getting more scope all the time your little creatures from Dawn of Spring, New Season Friends. So you've got the wee otter, you've got the bird, the little bunny rabbit and the badger, and these are all in a new colorway. So they're very striking colors, very, very striking colors, beautifully done. And we get to see them coming together with previous collections. So as you can see on your screen, they're sitting there with the slip and slide um, and your, you know, your quick dip, all the, the elements coming through, not your slip and slide, sorry, it's your quick dip with that little bird sitting there as well gorgeous scenes that were created, those stories that we tell in card making all coming to life. Very, very pretty. This is your quick dip. So you've got your little bird sitting, really pretty. You've got the water pump. Again, great for your corner elements, really great to build your corner designs for a card. So it's going to be very, very strong. Imagine your wheelbarrow sat at the other side. You've suddenly created your V-line for composition. Super clever, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. This is your slip and slide. So you've got your wee little mouse and the way this is designed where your welly comes round, the little mouse can be sliding off the tip or he can be sliding down the front. Really cute. Always a big seller. And no doubt, it's just beyond sweet, isn't it? So you've got the little creature slip and slide in, but we've got other creatures we can use as well that can slip and slide down those wellies or use them independently, depending what you want. So really, really useful. Now we move on to your vernal blooms. So we're looking at the different florals for ver ver uh, your vernal blooms here and you've got all the elements coming through for your different colors. I'm going to be uh, apologizing before I begin because I'm not quite sure which one's which. We've got Vibrance, Fervent and Ebullient um, and they are absolutely gorgeous but I can't quite remember which one's which and I think these are mixed so we'll come through as we see but look at those colors. How beautiful are they? And from these, we also get all of your elements for decoupage as well. Remember to go and look on that Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk and click your corresponding dies. That's where you'll find these. I think you're going to find the things from Vernal Blooms will be very, very popular. These three pieces, they're tall, they're showstoppers, and they're an immediate eye-catching card without you making much effort behind it if you don't want to. So quick cards done with absolute beauty aren't they they're stunning we've also got your wreath here this is your christmas wreath maker i believe and you have got all the elements coming through where you're getting the pieces that sort of slot in and now it's all summer isn't it so we've got your wreath maker sitting you've got all the elements you need to make really really beautiful pieces summer fruits florals it could be from uh, rustic delight actually so i'm just going to hop my boots here there's a lot in for me to remember we're coming to the christmas wreath now so that is your rustic delight really pretty imagine the cards you're going to make with this i love making wreaths there's something about them on the front of a card cut these a couple of times you can either use those fruits going all the way around or you can just use elements of them to create a half circle or you know on the side there as well really sweet now you've got your christmas wreath maker this has always been a big big thing the christmas wreath maker because it makes extraordinary cards instantly we like those uh, kind of things again you're making your wreaths but this time in a very um seasonal way you can 
can use the other florals, however. So if I want the darker piece that I've taken from here, I can still put my fruits in there and then it would stem for autumn, wouldn't it? So you can start to see why these are so important as a selection for your special edition vignettes. That's exactly why. New colorway here as well for those Christmas wreaths where you've got the darker green, you've got still got your silver bells sitting there, the florals in the center. They're just so pretty when they're done and it's something so unusual. We don't see much of this on the craft market and that's why they become so important, isn't it? Adding into your Christmas wreath maker here, you've got your candles, your bows, you've got your pine cones, it's just beautiful when it's done. That bow is an absolute boon as well, might I add. And if you use your decoupage elements and put the small bow over the top, it's so pretty. Lovely, lovely colorway there. Still more pieces for your wreath makers here. And remember, we can, we can mix and match, can't we? But you've got your mistletoe, you've got your uh, holly leaves, as we've seen before, all the extra pieces coming through for you to tuck in. Tuck in's so important. Tuckins are the things that visually give us a cue to, to look in a certain direction. So if we're using tuckins in a corner, you can snip into these, make them how you want them to be. If you want to use this one and it hangs over the edge and you don't want it to, snip a little piece off, you'll still get that impetus from that uh, die cut. It's still gonna look amazing. We've got here your gorgeous, gorgeous um, lawnmower. And I love the fact that it's got a little face on it. It's just really, really sweet, isn't it? And it's a, a, a true carnation piece. And it's always, again, been popular. You can see on there that the name for this little uh, lawnmower is Chopsy. And it's just sitting with that detail in there. But it's kind of a hidden Easter egg. You sort of look and you see it. So super cute. In the red, you'll seen it previously. It, sorry, in the yellow, you've seen it previously in the green. So coming through now with a brand new colorway. From there, we have got, let me just see, are these all backwards? There you go. Look at that. If that's not impact, I don't know what is. That's gorgeous colours. Remember all the perfect papers that you've been getting recently? This will go beautifully with warm greetings, with those pinks coming through from the warm greetings. Perfect papers. If you're going to use this against maybe one of the blush papers and to use it with the rose blush, so you've got that soft pink behind that, it's going to glow and it will look incredible. Really pretty. Elements here for your uh, sheer delight. So we've got all of the elements to create. Now you've got the square frame here. So this will be Rustic Delight. You've got the square element here. Remember how when Sheer Delight came out, we started to use chawl. And again, this is something that you can do here to build your, your pieces. And then you've got the extra frame that will sit in there. And you don't have to have that in the center. We can put it in different places in the card to give a different visual piece. You've also got the little stands coming through. You'll see as we go through all of your elements coming for these collections. And then from here, we have got one of your background pieces. I love this. So it cuts in a square. It's really, really pretty. And it gives us a really extraordinary, soft, very gentle background. So imagine those, uh, the little creatures we've got from Dawn of Spring sitting along the grass line. Pretty, right? So again, Carnation give us everything that we need in order to create. So moving on from those, we've got your hoop from Sheer Delight. Remember Sheer Delight? It's now in a paler brown. So again, very soft spring tones coming through. All of the elements, again, where you can piece it all together and that circle frame that goes in the center, so pretty. Very delicate. Sheer Delight, one of my favorite collections that's ever been brought out. I know it was yours as well. Remember for the bigger, vignettes you're going to piece them together one will say mirrored one won't you're going to line up the black lines and that will create once you've folded it and glued it that will create a perfect reflection so you'll have images on both the back and the front that's your stand for sheer delight if i have time to date it i will demo it i've cut it in two different colors for you so you can actually see where those pieces are coming together to try and give you a bit of a visual aid but you can see it look how pretty it is we're looking again at those backgrounds, this time in the circle shape. So pretty, pretty, pretty as a picture. That'll have the other side to it there. Remember, you need to piece those together. You can see how big this selection is, can't you? And then the last of those vernal wreaths there as well. I love the colour on that. I think that's just been so powerfully done. Those oranges fading through to the light sort of lemon color at the end, so vibrant and so pretty. And that's your vernal blooms. I think they will fly today uh, on those extra dyes. So if you do want to get hold of them, there is 20% off today. So today is definitely the day to do it. 
you need to head to the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. Click the deal of the day. Not only will you find today's deal, which is of course the vignettes, uh, you will also find 20% off every single one of those collections, but it is only gonna last till midnight tonight because it's a special day and that's what Carnation is celebrating. So you can only do that until midnight, at which point all prices will go back to their original price. So now is the time to do it. Carnation will honor if you go to one and you register your interest and you buy it, if it's out of stock, I'm presuming they will honor the price that you're trying to click it today. Uh, so you, you'll still be able to go through. I wanna show you some of the most incredible finished samples that have come from the DT team using these vignettes. You can imagine that they're stunning, right? Because all of those vignettes are beautiful. You're getting so, so much of a good deal on these. It's 241705 Springs Garland Special Edition Vignette Download Collection 4.99, but, at midnight tonight, that goes to 15 pounds. So you're getting a tenner off it today. In fact, more than a tenner, 10 pounds and a penny, um, but only until midnight. So go and fill your boots while you can, because a lot of you will have a lot of these dies. So even if you've only got one collection, let's just say you're sitting there and you go, well, I've got, I've got um, Sheer Delight. Five quid, you've got a brand new colorway. And I think that's absolutely worth it. Christmas wreath maker, most of you have got that. You know, it's those things, isn't it? Where we go, well, for a fiver, I've just suddenly changed the whole collection. And I love that Carnation do that, that they don't just abandon us with a collection and then walk away. They keep revisiting. And that's really, really lovely to have. So 4 99 and you can use that QR code at the bottom in order to scan and that'll take you straight to the collection. Yes, Mr. Tistaz. Um with the price, with them registering their interest, yeah. the price doesn't hold, it's for today oh, only. Oh, is it for today only? But they can register their interest and when it comes back on the website, they'll, then they'll know. They'll know. Okay, so register your interest. So Carnation know that you want those things. And Carnation, once they've got that registered, they will try and get that back in stock for you uh, and try and make it available because some of these are stunning. So do make sure you attempt that. Right, so we have got finished samples galore to show you and they are beautiful. So we're going to go through these. We will get to demo at that point. But look at this. Look how pretty that is. Stunning, right? Don't forget your sentiment stamps from Carnation. They're so important. They've got literally a message for every single occasion on those sentiment stamps. I'm sure they've got them on the website. Do go and ferret around. They are beautiful. Slip and slide there, look. Sliding down that welly, as we said, having the best time ever. You've also got your water pump, you've got your wheelbarrow, and you've got your little blue tits there as well. It creates a full card. We've got lots of white space just Perfect, isn't it? And that's that background we were looking at a moment ago that you're seeing in these vignettes. So you get that beautiful soft tone coming up in your gradient to white. So really nice way of playing, effective ways of playing. Now, just to have a look at that sheer delight card stand. So if I bring this in here, you can see the stand itself, very, very pretty. We've got that gorgeous filigree sitting on it and then the little stand at the front. If you want to know in full detail, in case I don't get to it in demo, I do just want to say you can go back on YouTube and look for the sheer delight shows that we did when it was launched. They'll still be there and you can go through and it'll show you everything that you need in order to make that collection. It's just in case I don't get to it in demo because I don't want to abandon you. But we have got, look at A up. Look at that. If I pop that on the stand, if I can. Sorry, colour, look at what you're doing. There you go. How pretty is that? That filigree is gorgeous, isn't it? I love Sheer Delight so much. But see how we're mixing it in now? So it, it becomes an Easter collection. These little uh, sentiments coming through work perfectly because they're on the round. So it really fits and they're really stunning pieces. You're going to be able to make all of these. There's nothing in here that we're showing you that you cannot make. Bring in, in your with love with your wee badger here. This is Vera Bow. Thank you, Vera, for your work. How pretty is that? Look at those florals. Beautifully done. You're going to be able to make incredible things. And I love the fact that this is part of a collection that you might already have. I love that. Clean, fresh lines soft, delicate card making. And sometimes that's exactly what we need, isn't it? If you were to take the Happy Easter off, that can be used for any occasion. Luxurious, opulent, very pretty, isn't it? Enjoy your day. 
just so pretty. Using some of those perfect papers that have come through, I think that might be the warm greetings ones. Enjoy your day. Gorgeous. How they can be shaped out. The colour's very pretty, isn't it? Very, very delicate. How many have you got at home? Message in, let us know which ones of these you already own. Look at that. Show stopping, breathtaking cards. And easily done. This is nothing you can't achieve. That's the point, isn't it? These are exquisite. Vera Bow, thank you for your card making. To all of the card making team, actually. We've got Janine Dawson here, head of DT. You are my pride and joy. That's an incredible sentiment, isn't it? And that comes from your peace and quiet collection. You are my pride and joy. Then we've got a couple more to show you and we'll get to demo for you. Just saying a sweet hello. Apertures, always, always important. Apertures are just your best friend. But I love how the colour tone of the blue tit is shown then with the lawnmower at the bottom. So you can see how you can build everything and bring that together. Thank you to Pam Simpson for that. Right, let's have a go at demo. And so you can see some of these elements coming in so you can see it working together. But just before I start, I will say, please do head to Carnation Crafts website. Don't wait for me, especially if you want some of those dies with 20% off because they're only there till midnight and you might lose the choice. You can come back to watch this at any time we don't delete from YouTube, so you will be able to see them at any given point. So please don't wait for me, because there's no need. I'll still be here. Yes, Miss Tisdales. Uh, just while you're doing that, so many people are saying hello. Oh, hello, lovely people. So over on YouTube, we've got Charlotte Palmer. We've got Debbie Viv saying hello, Linda Poland. We've also got Debbie, another Debbie, and we've got Joanne. Linda Poland said, I'm scared to say how many I have as the hubby is watching. Don't then. Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. Just the one. Then we've also got Donna from Australia saying hello. Over on Facebook, we've got Pearl. We've got Fran, Amanda, Suzanne, Karen, Jacqueline, Linda, Alison, Suzanne, Gosh. Elaine, Denise. We've got so many people saying hello. That's so lovely. Suzanne, thank you for your message at Hobby Maker yesterday. It is much appreciated. I can't really say too much when I'm on Hobby Maker, but I really appreciate the support. So thank you very much. Right, we're going to have a look at an eight by eight on this example. So it's just two pieces of card cut into eight by eights. And uh, there's my pokey tool, there it is. Same as always, we're going to fold that score line back. It's done at half an inch, it's got red liner tape on it. We're gonna remove the red liner, fold it back towards the body, shuffle, and place. Then we have got mats and layers. Now I've played with my height on some of these. So for most of these mats and layers, I've only done a one millimeter, which I know will be surprising to most of you at home, but keeping it flat means I can do more with what's on the surface for this particular design. Pulling those back so I've got two tabs to work with, getting it to where I think is about central without leaning over and showing you all of my gray roots. I believe that will go there so I can place that on. Now we're gonna work with layers. So your mats and layers. So what we're gonna do is build. So this is on a one millimeter two. And I'm just gonna place that there. And then I've taken this up now to a three mil. So I'm just playing with height. We're working with a lot of mats and layers here just to bring in a different uh, kind of central focus. Place this centrally. And the reason I've used a three millimeter here, most of you will already be shouting at the telly, is so I can create shadows because white will eat itself. So if I leave that on a one mil, you won't really see the difference. But if I raise it to a three mil, you can see the shadow. So it causes the contrast to happen so we can see the difference. One mil will not give me that. Then I'm working with one mil on this piece. Because I'm working, the reason I'm using one mil, I know I don't use one mil very often, but because I'm doing so many layers, I don't want it to be, you know, insanely bulky. But I do want to create that central stage. 
These are Carnation's perfect papers. Carnation bring out a set of perfect papers with every single collection. So there's loads for us to choose from. And most of you will have perfect papers at home that you can rummage through and use them with these collections and they all come together beautifully. Placing that on top. So you're creating that gorgeous frame out. We've used the darker color of the perfect papers and then modeled it with the lighter color so that you get that tonal shift, which is very, very pretty. And we've created a center platform in order to create the card. And I'm going to start bringing in elements from these special edition vignettes. First of all, we're going to go for quick dip. Look at this. That's going to be my corner element here. And I'll be totally honest with you. Quick dip with a sentiment is all you need to create something absolutely stunning. So if I go in with Happy Easter, this is the power of carnation. You have absolutely got something beautiful, haven't you? Without ever trying, it's there. And that comes in with just the joy of the vignettes, the artwork and the quality of the dies. We are going to build it slightly more than that, but I did just want to show you the power of it and how beautiful it is. I will shape these out slightly. So using my ball tools, I'm just gonna go in and shape out the bucket, just following the shade lines, going through, breaking those pip lines, and then I'll just do a small amount down the center of this so I create a slight rotund shape. Silicon gel glue so I can raise it. Just there. And place that down. Pretty as a picture, isn't it already? I think that's such a powerful die, quick dip. It's really, really pretty. Now I've got my little wheelbarrow here and I will be using this. Now in order to cut this, I will just very quickly just cut it through so you can see it because I want you to see how to cut a vignette, but I'm not gonna spend a great deal of time on this. Just enough for you to see, for those of you who haven't. So while I'm doing this, I will once again reiterate that your time available for you to be able to download these beautiful things is limited. Carnation are not going to keep these on the website for very long. www.carnationcrafts.co.uk, midnight tonight. All of these offers disappear onto those websites, or onto that website, sorry. So you're going to get the vignettes at a ridiculous price of five, uh, four, sorry, $4.99. This is what happens when I try and do two things at once. Uh, $4.99. Uh, but it's going to go back up to £15 tonight at midnight. So now's the time to grab them, right? You're getting this massive plethora of stuff. And as I was going through these vignettes, you see how much stuff you're getting there. It's crazy, crazy uh, lovely stuff to have. I folded that on the black line. I'm just putting some spray glue on the inside just to allow it to seal. That means they won't come apart if I start to shape them, which is important to me. I'm just going to put all of this together. She says without the static. It's very nice to have my own cut and boss back because yesterday, Miss Tiztaz, they gave me a different die cutting machine. You can imagine how much fear went through me at that point. Right, so you need to make sure it's the right, right way. Obviously, this is the wrong way because we've got it on the wrong side. So let's turn that over. If you ever have trouble and you're like, this doesn't work, it's because you've got it the wrong way around. It's an, a, a sort of a, a reflection almost of the other side. So that's just as simple as that. You can use some uh, tape to hold that in place if you so wish. It makes things sometimes easier for you. And then I've got this, which keeps losing its power at the back. Always a joy. I think I'm gonna have to get a new cable for my machine because it doesn't seem to like playing with the electricity at the moment. Once we've got these cut, the joy of a carnation mirrored vignette. For those of you who've never joined us before and this is the first time you've seen us randomly on YouTube, first of all, good morning. Um, a mirrored vignette is where we have an image both on the back and the front of our die cut. And that means that we can play with it in both ways. So you get sort of double for your money essentially because I can have it left or right. Very unusual in the craft industry. And as far as I'm aware, something that is completely unique to Carnation, uh, which is nice to have, isn't it? Because we it means we get those elements. I'll just release that from there. 
So from that, this is what I mean. You get a beautiful die cut that sits and you've got all of the elements coming through there. Really, really pretty. And then I can turn it and have the design on the other side. Now that means I've got two of the wheelbarrows because I had one previously cut and I can use those together. Pro Print's gonna be your best friend. So please don't forget to get your Pro Print if you want the same quality of color that we show you in demo. You won't get it from normal printer paper. That's just unfortunately a fact of life. So for my wheelbarrow, I'm gonna have it pointed at the other side, trying to recreate the same height line roughly that I've got from my um, water butt so that I'm creating my V for composition. I'm not gonna shape it out too much, but I can just do a little bit. You can do it with wet glue. If you don't have silicon gel glue, please feel free to use foam pads, but you can get the silicon gel glue from the Carnation Crafts website. It's called Pin Flare. Uh, and it will be on there with your syringes as well. So you can use it in the same way that I'm using it. For those of you who do, it is a 24 hour drying period. So you do need to make sure you just give it that time. Now to make sure it's not floating in midair, which it currently is because obviously my wheel is not on the ground. I've got two options. I can pull it down a little bit, which I'm happy to do, or I can push it across a little bit so that the wheel is leaning on something. So I'm just gonna raise mine down or pull mine down slightly and just tip it slightly and that'll give me a nice V shape. So it just works nicely for your composition. I'm making sure it's right on the end of that piece so that it doesn't slip over the other side. Now, quite simply, all I'm gonna do here is add in two blue tits. So I will just give them a little bit of shape so their tummies are a little more rotund. So I'm just gonna work around the bottom of this and around the headline and down the wing. Same again on the other one, but I'm gonna do this one on the opposite side. So the side that would be the main, the main cut line side that was actually touching the die when it was going through the machine because they're going to face each other. So I need them to have the same shaping out, but that they face each other. And that's the joy of using a mirrored vignette. So I'm going to add some height over here and that's gonna be one little boyd. just seated, looking down to see what this little chap's doing. I'm lowering this one, filling in this central point because he's looking at what this little chap's doing. And then quite simply, I've got my sentiment so simple clean easy cards i'm using carnations everyday glue this has got a very very low water content so it dries fast you don't need much of it um, and that means that we don't smush it everywhere on our design we don't get dirty marks uh, because we're using such tiny amounts of adhesive uh, i will say that's not the same with all adhesive carnations has got a very very low water content and that's why we can use so little so it is a powerful glue so tiny amounts, using my applicators so I can get it absolutely strategically placed. And just going through. While I'm doing this, I will say lots of people, there is a debate about just putting glue on the back of your hand and running your die along it so that you get adhesion across the whole thing. Um, it's not that I say don't do any of those things. First of all, make sure you're not allergic to the adhesive because obviously you don't want that happening. But I will also say it will leave dirty marks around your sentiment, especially if you're doing something with gappy. So where you can avoid it, I would, just my opinion. but I would avoid doing that if you can. So happy, and then we've got your Easter as well, so the same thing, hey, tiny amounts of adhesion here, which will allow it to seat. It will have an instant bond because of the low water content. As Soon as I press this down, it will bond to the paper below it, which is what I'm after. So I do only need to put it in strategic places, but your applicator is your best friend here. There's no reason to put it on your hand and run it along adhesive and get glue on the inside of pieces and make it look dirty on your actual card when you can use an applicator and avoid all of that. So I'm just gonna place this through so that I've got that round and place that down. Happy Easter, beautiful cards, made simply, clean, fresh, 
nothing overpowering and nothing too difficult for anybody to achieve that's achievable by all at home but it gives us a very clean aesthetic on the card and looks sublime and this is the joy of having the recolored vignettes because it gives us a different eye on what we've previously had so to have that gorgeous you can see that the the showstopper your immediate visual cue are the birds they're the brightest thing on there so we're already drawing things in you're allowing that card to pop with those birds but you're not over over embellishing or you're not you know over utilizing color so i hope that makes sense to you all so that is using some various pieces from your peace and quiet um dies that come into this collection and it's just easy and beautiful isn't it and then you've got your birds from the dawn of springs so very pretty so we're not using much but we are reutilizing the dies we have already in our collections again if you've seen anything on that card that i was making don't forget to ask questions if you want to but if you're wondering what collections they are do hit that button on the carnation crafts website the big tab and it will take you straight to those dies that we're using today and that will give you some different elements so 241705 is your number on the carnation crafts website and that's www.carnationcrafts.co.uk you can type that number in or you can use the qr code at the bottom and that will take you to everything that you need today's uh, vignettes are called spring Garland special edition vignette download collection that's what you're looking for on the website and that's where your free artwork will be seated please do check out uh, it'll go into your basket you don't have to um, sort of worry about making an account but I would if I was you because it'll remember everything you've ever downloaded it makes it easy it's like having a library of everything you've ever downloaded so I would advise you to do that show price 4.99 it's going to go back to 15 pounds in a few hours actually is it 12 14 hours miss tis tas it'll be midnight tonight so it's going to go at that point so do try and get it while you can so for those of us who join us this evening you'll obviously have less time as well so make sure you grab it at that price it's yours to use for as long as you want as often as you want carnation do have a free angel policy so you are able to sell your makes with this collection as well always nice to know so i'm just going to show you a few more of these and then we're going to go into our second demo so janine's card seated here just absolutely gorgeous right or the little creature sitting at the bottom, he's got such a happy face as well. You can see how we're using those fruits and the colors that are coming through are so beautiful. It's a gorgeous card, thank you, Janine. We're using the teardrop and sweep uh, nested dies here to create that outside piece, which is gorgeous anyway. And the colors blooming through from those perfect papers right through to the extraordinary artwork that we see. Really pretty. For those of you who want to use your gorgeous sheer delight shapes look at this and how it changes from that original collection that's a story isn't it that's a woodland a little woodland scene from a children's book almost it's so pretty the use of the wreath in the center so you're getting that gorgeous sweep of white really pretty and then the half wreath at the top, that happy Easter sentiment sitting proudly above it. Thank you so much to Pam Simpson. Now we've got the stands. Again, we were talking to you about the stands earlier. So to show that as it comes through, what you can do is have the stand separately or as Janine has done here, you can use adhesion to stick it. That'll hold the card up for you. Look at that. If that's not a show stopping card, I don't know what is, but the joy of that is it's actually just florals used in the wreath, nothing that you can't do yourself. So yes, technically it looks incredible, doesn't it? But it's, it's something that's achievable by all of us. I just want to get one of these stands here so I can show you the next card. So I've got this sitting. I'll bring that in, in that gorgeous colorway. Remember, you can cut these in your own colorway as well. Look at this. How pretty is that you can see my jumper coming through in my hand because this has got the use of chawl uh, for those of you who don't know chawl is like a, a, a fine netting that can be used for many different things carnation crafts do have it on the website so please do and go find it you get loads loads and loads it'll last you forever it's brilliant brilliant stuff but you can make these stunning cards here and they're so pretty so you've got everything seated there it's stunning isn't it how we're seeing the you know collections that we're used to and we're used to them in a certain colorway and we're used to them coming together in a very very pretty way already but then to see them completely differently and it's like uh, i don't know 
seeing somebody dressed in a way they don't normally dress. It's really nice to see that different visual, that beautiful aesthetic. Using some here that are just gorgeous from those Vernal Blooms collection. Thank you, Pam Simpson. I know Pam is very, very clever with her florals and she does love her florals. You can see there the little blue tits sit in with the filigree from the Sheer Delight collection. So remember to just mix and match because it really does create these extraordinary effects. When we buy a collection from Carnation, we don't just buy one collection, we buy then offshoots from that that create one massive collection. So don't forget to mix in. I'll show you one more and we'll go to demo, but look at this from Janine. How pretty is this? And just to show you, it's all done with acetate. How gorgeous is that? So we've created the filigree here using that background, uh, sorry, background vignette. You've got your little bow and then you've got your florals sitting at the bottom. Acetate on the front so you get a window to it so when it opens you get the dimension. And I think that's incredible. Again, simple card making. Simple card making, but very, very effective. And it's something we're able to do and create every time with Carnation, which is really nice to have. It makes, it makes it so that when we've spent our pennies, we've spent it on something that's just going to take us a long way on a crafting journey. And that, we like them apples. Right, let's have a look at another demonstration. I've got two more, so hopefully we'll get through them both. I will be quick. She says, as quick as I can. I thought you were raising your hand then, Mr. Taz. Miss Tiztaz has been out and about and abroad. Always. She has been in the foreign countries this morning and got back very early. At midnight, was it? Two. Two o'clock this morning, Miss Tiztaz got back from her travels to foreign countries uh, and then has travelled here this morning, bless her. So I imagine she's probably quite sleepy. I'll make her a coffee after the show. So eight by eights stuck together, coming in with those perfect papers. Remember your perfect papers are your, you know, you, they're your ultimate backdrop to any card. They're gonna give you all the drama you need. And perfect papers now incorporate um, some patterns as well as having your block color. So some are stripes and some are dots. And they're so beautiful. They give this really pretty visual. I've got this on A3 mil, so I am raising it. Just taking that down, so I've got my tabs. And placing that down. And now I'm going to utilize one of those backgrounds. See how pretty that is? How the yellow around it just gives us this really, really pretty kind of, it's almost a glow, isn't it? So again, three mil on this. Place that into the center, push and pull. Now, I'm gonna use some of the pieces here from Rustic Delight. So I've got my square frame, I'll put it that way. And already we change things, don't we? Because suddenly it almost looks like a, the, the outside of a television. We're, we're focused in because we framed it. So as soon as you do that, you're going to change the aesthetic. And then from there, I've got the gorgeous filigree and I'm just gonna place that on top. Now you can choose to put that down first and put the frame on the top so you're making sure it's, it's perfect, but it, it will fit perfectly inside if you're canny with it anyway. So, you know, it doesn't really matter which way, but if you feel more comfortable, put this down first. Now I'm gonna work with the frame first, make sure I've got it seated and then I will go forward with the filigree. The filigree is when you really, really do want to bring in your applicators and your very very strong everyday glue it will help you so much I had to use a different PVA the other day for something else that I was doing I've got to tell you Carnation's PVA their everyday glue best I've ever used it really does make a difference it makes a difference sort of technically to how we make the cards and how easily we can. So taking that and just placing that frame over the top of that square. Placing down, just like so. Beautiful, right? All of the elements from Spring Garland or Spring's Garland, very, very pretty. My filigree is very, very delicate here. I've got two choices. 
I can put adhesion on the square and allow this to flow free. The problem is if I try and post it, it might catch. So what I am gonna do is put some on the square, but I'm also gonna put some in the corners. And this is why I need my um, applicator. It's just gonna help me control where the adhesion goes in a better way. So if I put those in the corners, I'm holding down the middle and I'm holding down the corner element. Yes, Ms. Tiz Taz. Um, Sam Smith has just said that these look beautiful for Mother's Day. Absolutely, Sam. You're absolutely right because that's upon it. When is, can somebody help me out? When's Mother's Day? 10th of March. Is that soon? Two weeks, two weekends away. Oof. Would somebody like to remind me closer to the time? I'd be awfully grateful. So I'm just going to place that in there and in there. Place that down so that I've got it flush with the little frame. How beautiful is that? Really pretty, isn't it? Well, you know, with the, the, the slight green just coming from the bottom and that gradient going up, when we've got that filigree, it changes the filigree. It really is so pretty. So then I've got some florals here and I'm just gonna work through at this point just with my florals. That is just stunning. I think that's probably my favorite today out of the recolored vignettes. I think the color on that is just so vibrant and so pleasing. So that's definitely going to be a massive boon. Take this and I'm just gonna delicately shape on those flowers just so they've got a protrusion. You can then decoupage these elements too, which will allow it to have that fullness and we'll do a little bit of that. These ones I'm just gonna change actually to my larger ball tool. Working around, you can see as they're starting to, can you see all of that cut line detail? If you've got the time, sit with the ball tool and go through every single flower, you'll get wonderful results. Pulling forward and filling with that pin flare just on little places to allow a little bit of height. I'm not going mad with it. I don't need this to be built too high. But I'm just gonna place this in. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so pretty. Just place so that reaches just at the top of that frame. And then coming in, I'm not going too, too mad with the decoupage on this, but I do just want to frame out a little bit on the top. So just make sure that's got a good curvature on it, so it's deep. You see how it just protrudes that little bit, it just gives it the eye catch that we're looking for. I'm just going to add in a wee floral just at the bottom to add in some pink tone, not much, but just a little bit. Using my wet glue here, pinch that in so it just covers that bow. We've got a little touch of colour just to cool down that yellow. And then we're going to cover a lot of that with the bow. And I'm okay with that, but the, the idea is to just cool tones and it'll just give us a peek around the corner. So I'm going to shape out the bow just enough to give it a little curvature up. If I turn that round, I can then do halfway down here. So I've got opposing angles on my bow, so it will come up and then down. And then I've got the smaller piece. Just here. To build. That I'll use wet glue on here and then I will use silicon gel glue. To piece the other pieces. So just placing that in the middle and holding and then I've got my bow and I'm ready to seat it just here. So it'll just pull to the end of that card. So I've got the top and then the bottom and that seats it all together. Silicon gel glue just to give it a little bit of height. 
those pinks just peeking because the yellow is the star of the show. There you go. Absolutely stunning. The new colour way is just delicious. It's gorgeous. You're going to get so much out of using this from dyes that you previously owned. Such an important asset to us when we're buying dyes that we can get a future proofing for them. It makes it such a, a great purchase, doesn't it? Because we know we're future proofing those dyes or that we're going to have a company that future proofs our designs and carnation. Do it better than anybody else. 241705 for your spring garlands. Uh, uh, special edition download collection you can find that on the deal of the day the big red button in the middle of carnation's website which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk hit the deal of the day button not only will you find the uh, vignettes that you're looking for there 4.99 reduced down from 15 pounds but only until midnight tonight you'll also find a little button there that allows you to go to the corresponding dies that you've seen me using today and there's 20% off all of them, which is pretty, pretty epic, isn't it? But you can see they're selling out fast and furious. Please do go and get what you need while you're getting it at that extraordinary price because that's only lasting as well until midnight this evening. So now is the time to jump. Right, hopefully we've got time for one last demo. I just want to show you the last of the finished samples from the DT who have done so much hard work and I think really important that we see the work we've put, not least because of the work they've done, but because it inspires us to create in a similar way. Fiona Rabbit here has done the most gorgeous selection. She's got some chawl sitting there. You can see the little creatures both behind and in front. So we create perspective there. They're gorgeous little faces, those mushrooms coming through and then your happy Easter sentiment at the top. Isn't that just extraordinarily pretty? And then you've got the little love hearts coming through from your Sheer Delight collection, just seated amongst those mushrooms at the bottom. So tuckins, tuckins being very important. The use of the aperture with the chawl there as well, allowing the mushrooms to be seated behind from foragers find. So we get that perspective and that depth that we're looking for in the card. Beautifully done. So thank you, Fiona, for your hard work. To all the DT who do so much. Sue Dalrymple here, bringing in slip and slide. Again, with that sentiment, we can see how the greens are working together. So the wellies, you can then see that tone coming through on your stems here and coming through on your stems here. So the same color tone used. Can't clash. And that's really important for those visuals. Use of white space, absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards. From there, we go to Vera Bow, who's created this with the Hessian card shape. This is your nested dies for the Hessian card shape. And you've got the little rabbit sitting there, bless him, with his gorgeous, gorgeous little wreath and then a little flower in his hair, which is just beyond sweet. Then Happy Easter sitting at the top. So again, creating through. Remember to get your nested dies out. They're so important. If you want to make something that's a little smaller, simpler cards as such, or just smaller cards really, that has got all of the elements to make something exquisite, hasn't it? Much smaller card, uh, but we get the same impact. And I think that testifies to the strength of Carnation's designs, that we get to create something that's very delicate, very pretty, but still with the same impact. We're not reducing uh, impact just because we're reducing size. Bringing in that lawnmower here from Barbara Treadwell. You are a cut above. And there is Chopsy just sitting there with those mushrooms at the side. Clean and simple card shape with the grass behind it. You can get the grass from, uh, I believe, getting together. Uh, so you've got the elements coming through, haven't you, that create a real garden scene. Really pretty. Absolutely stunning. Finally, I'll show you this one, which, oh, actually, I've got two more. Look at this Bobby Dazzler here, Mr. his Taz. Look at this from Sue. This deserves a moment all on its own. Oh, I saw that one. Look at that, guys. That's extraordinary, Sue. You absolute legends. Uh, Sue has labelled this four seasons. Perfect. That's some exquisite card making right there. So, Sue, I would like to showcase you there. What an incredible card. Finally, we have got the last of the DT samples to show you. This is Vera Bow, beautifully done. Enjoy your day. We've got slip and slide. We've got forager's find. We've got quick dip. 
all seated together. Really beautiful card making and an exquisite way of using them. I hope these DT samples are giving you loads of inspiration to be able to go and craft yourself with your special edition vignettes because seeing what other people are doing really does inspire us. It's a, a jumping point, isn't it, for us to create ourselves. Right, Miss Tiztaz, have I got time for one more? It might not be the quickest of demos. I'll go as quick as I can. If I don't have time to show you how to make the stand for Sheer Delight, please do go and look at the Sheer Delight um, YouTube videos. They'll be on there. I don't know what the date was for them, uh, but you'll be able to find them on there. I'll link it for them. Uh, can you link it? Thank you. And this will show you exactly how to make the frames with the chore. You can make it with the stand. It's just, I think we're going to run out of time. Right, I've created a circle from those backgrounds. This is for Sheer Delight. So we've got that beautiful tonal shift again from the green going through. It's like a misty morning almost, isn't it? Or maybe summer's day uh, just at sunrise or maybe a winter's day where it might be quite misty. It can give us lots of different feels. I'm using the frame just to place around. So I'm just using small amounts of adhesion here. You can do it all the way around if that makes you feel better. I just tend to use smaller amounts. Now place that down. Place this on top. I, you need to lean over when you're doing this. I can't center it exactly because I can't lean. I do apologize, but you won't see anything if I lean forward, you'll just see my head. So if I place that down, make sure that adhesion has taken and then pop this on top so that I'm actually creating a full frame. Really pretty. So I'm gonna take this. Place it down so that you've created that full frame. Again, you'll be able to lean over, just make sure you're making sure that everything has matched. That's all we're looking for at this stage. Do a little bit more adhesion on this side. That's the joy of using small amounts of glue. It will tell you I need more and it'll tell you where. Whereas if you've overdone it, you can't take it away. So now that I've got that squared through or circled through if you like, I've now got that filigree to place on top. I think I'm kind of in love with the filigree on those backgrounds. It's really effective, isn't it? Really, really pretty. So I'm just going to put, I'll actually get some fresh everyday glue just on here so that I've got it a little runnier. The studio gets very, very hot. So my glue dries quicker than yours will at home. But we are under big lights, Miss Tiz Towers, big lights. Placing this in those quadrants. And then, like I say, I can add more if I need to. Find its place so that I am butted up against everything else and I'm flush. And then I can press. As soon as I press, it's going to want to adhere. Pretty, really, really pretty, isn't it? From that, I'm going to take through my little wreath and pop that around the center. So I'm framing out that wreath, that, that center point. So I'm giving my focal point here. And I also want to add in the mini little circle as well, just to break it up. But I think I'm gonna do that underneath. So if I place that over, I can get it exact and then put the wreath on top of it and it will just poke through. So I'll get a little visual from it, which I love. So just placing this on. Oh, that's my tummy making funny noises. I apologize. Again, applicators become so important on these delicate pieces. It allows me to make my glue dispersion predictable and that means I'm not creating a mess and it's reliable I know it's going to be reliable those tools are very important to our finished results they help us as crafters 
They're sort of technical tools, things like your applicators, they really help us to become more precise. So I can place that on the top of there. I'm just going to fill in with some floral detailing going round. So I'm going to start off by putting these in in a garland form so they will face outwards. We'll get the curvature out if I can get hold of it, which is quite a different thing. Right, just a small amount there. Get my central focus there. Slight overlap on this one, just so they meet and I know they've met in the middle. And then let's bring some color. Now you've got the choice, you can overlay them or you can underlay them. I'm going to underlay them uh, so that I know that my workings are hidden. Again, we're flowing outwards. Small amounts of adhesion. Just poking out through there. That flow that comes round. But now I want some more vivid tones. I want some, some more umph in the colour just to raise it. So I'll get my black breeze, just tuck them so they're not stealing the show, but they're certainly adding a pop. You can see there we're starting to bring it round. And so our wreath becomes more circular in how we're shaping them and a little tiny pop of color that just says I'm here. Just delicate, coming through pretty. Now I've got my little rasps here and I'm going to place them on top just to give that little pop there and then I will cover my workings. So this placed on here so I've got the little poke just coming through that delicate eye line to create that wreath Finally, a flower for the middle, if I can pick it up, that I can just say. Yes, there. Place that on top. I've just got a little shape there, just protrude. So that it's just got a balance through. And then finally, my little chap here. <coughs> Excuse me. Just shape his tummy a little bit, that's too big. Do his wing and his tail. Pull that forward. Silicon gel glue. He's going to be my showstopper, so I want the height and the lift on him. So plenty of silicon gel glue there. And he's just going to be seated on my frame, so he's got his little grounding device for his feet coming up. Now you'll need to, need to make the stand for this because it is a round card shape. Um, there isn't time so I will, uh, Taz has linked to the show where they're all shown. I'm trying to find one of the DT's members stands so I can borrow one of those but it may not be available. That's fine. Oh thanks Miss Taz, you're a, a kind kind help. So if I place that there, place that on there and you can just see it coming together uh, very, very, there you go. Very, very pretty, very delicate. Beautiful little cards. Easter cards, Mother Day cards, very, very pretty, delicate, soft, gentle cards. The extraordinary levels that you can go to in this collection are incredible and you can do so much with it and it's only 4 99 but that is only until midnight tonight at which point that price is going to up to uh, 15 pounds so you do want to get hold of it while you can 
the uh, deal of the day button, the red button on Carnation's website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. The red deal of the day button will take you directly to these vignettes. It will also take you to the corresponding dies. There's a little button there that you can click. That'll take you to those, 20% off those as well till midnight tonight. But once the price goes up, it will, of course, go up at midnight. And then you'll have to pay your full price if there's any that have sold out that you would like to have and that you can't get them just register into interest carnation then knows that you're requiring them and they will make sure they can try and get some ordered for you we are going to be back at 1 p.m with before the rainbow so this is a back to air on a very special price for you today um if you already own this come and watch for the inspiration if you don't come and watch to be wowed there are some gorgeous dies in there and we'll be doing some demos and having a look through the boards for you that'll be at 1 p.m till 2 p.m so we'll do the full hour for you in the meantime don't forget to go to carnation's website 241705 for your springs garland collection so that you too can be making things as glorious as this in the meantime i hope you have lots of fun i hope your dinner's a lovely and peaceful one We'll see you at one o'clock. Take care till then.